Hello, I'm going to talk today about the level change feature that's recently been added to InControl. This feature will let me monitor a light or a sensor or basically any Z-Wave device on my network and perform a special action when, when the device changes state, when it turns off or turns on. For this sample, I am going to show how to send a text message or an email when a sensor is tripped. And in my case, it just happens to be a sensor that's wired up to my garage door. So first of all, what you want to do, find your device in this list here. This is mine right here, my garage door sensor. This is an Aeon Lamp sensor. What you want to do down here is note this ID. My ID is 18. So once you've figured out what your ID is, go over here to the Rules tab, and you want to come down here and add a new rule. So go ahead and give it a name. For me, it's I'm just going to call it Garage Door Text. Make sure you enable it. And if you want to go ahead and log your events, this will help you track down any problems if something goes wrong. So the important part here is to select the on change state level. Now, if I wanted to activate a scene anytime, say, a light turned on, I would leave the script name as activate scene. In this case, I want to go ahead and pick email current device state. What that'll do, that'll just look at this this device and send me an email about what it's doing, whether it's on or whether it's at 50%. Flip over the rule data. Remember that ID that we looked at a minute ago? That's where we want to put it in here, so I'm going to double click on this and I'm just going to type in 18 and hit OK. Now there's these three settings right here. What these do is specify how this rule is going to behave. So if I only care when the, when the device is off and it turns on, then I'll come in here and I'll set this to true. If I only care when it's on and goes to off, I would set this to true. I really only have to have one of these set. I'm going to go ahead and set all of them, and it'll notify me anytime anything happens. And specifically, that's what this one is for, too, is let's say it's at 50%, and then my lights change to 60%. That's what this one will catch. Okay. I am all set. So, once again, this rule... Whenever my garage door sensor is no longer aligned or when it becomes aligned, it's going to send me a text message. Now, if you're having a problem getting your text messages, one thing you should do is come into your tools menu and your options and check your mail settings. These need to be set up and, you know, if you follow this link here, it'll actually teach you how to use Gmail if you've got a Gmail account. And you can actually find out how to send to it to a cell phone email address too or a text message. So that's it. Hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks.